One of the topics we also wanted to discuss, because we should all be proud as citizens of our community, of our airport. I know you're a pilot, a licensed pilot now, and uh, you do some flying yourself, and the airport was awarded 2023 Airport of the Year. Yes, um, and not only that, we won the safety award from the FAA for the Southern Region, which I think was a big deal. And when I say Southern Region, that's seven states, including Puerto Rico, that we were, um, we were awarded that that designation. Um, After a lot of work on the part of uh, the yeah. council and the director of the airport. Yeah, you know, the, the airport over the last three or four years has really been a labor of love, not only for our, our, our team members here at the city, but, you know, Chad Gerke, Chad's been here almost 30 years, um, has been at that airport when he was the only employee at the airport and really to see the growth there and couple that with the growth at, at MTSU, who's a valuable partner in our community. But, you know, we really saw some opportunities that needed to, to be worked on at the airport. And, and a lot of that came from residents. You know, the, the MTSU aviation program operates from six in the morning until 10 at night, sometimes later. Mm. And, you know, Chad had really identified as they were planning on growing different things that needed to be worked on and and you know it's change is hard mike and you know especially when we're used to doing you, you know a, a bad answer to me is when when i ask why are we doing something and someone says well that's the way we've always done it and typically it's th that can be good mm -hmm. but in this case we saw you know significant opportunities and so chad and his team with dave byers with quadruplex came in and we were the first one of the first airports in the state that we implemented a program called Vertower, where we, we have real-time tracking that we can see what's happening at the airport. We went through and, and after much um, talk, we got MTSU to come on board with operating procedures to be able to clear the airspace around the, the airport. I mean, I can tell you in, in, as a pilot, I don't get nervous very often um, just because you train so much, but when you come into Murfreesboro, it's crowded and we are a non-towered airport. And, you know, coming into Murfreesboro and you have six, seven planes that are in the pattern all working to land or they're taking off, that can get hectic. So we were able to put operating procedures in place to be able to alleviate some of that. And, you know, Murfreesboro Aviation has been a valuable partner, Jim Gardner and his team. They do a lot of flight training out at the airport and all of that really it signified just a lot of change and and we've been rewarded for that change as the safest airport of the year mm -hmm. and then also um the airport of the year in the state of tennessee which i'm i'm very proud of and i'm more proud of the collaboration that we have with the university to be able to make this happen but we've we've got some really good team members who've worked hard on making that happen and it still is a work in progress on a number of fronts uh, the pavement and the expansion of, of, of the apron, that kind of thing, yes. which is just ongoing. But also you mentioned two things, the control tower and MTSU. The control tower is still a process because that will help with yeah. the overall safety. And we've been approved for the program, so now it's like designing and, yeah. and implementation. Well, typically, you know, we were told that it would take the FAA anywhere between two to three years to improve a tower application. But with all the data that we had put together, they approved ours in about four and a half, five months. So it was a big step for us to be able to, to do that. And for, for those out there who don't really know what a control tower is, if you fly commercial commercially, you are taking off and landing at a plane at an airport that is that has a control tower. And so really that if you put it in terms of a circus, the the control tower is the ringmaster. Yeah. And so that control tower is really dictating who takes off, when they take off, who comes in and making sure that it's a safer airport. And something that's important with our airport, you know, it's surrounded by neighborhoods. And so it's important that we make sure that we do everything we can to, to keep it safe. And, you know, there, there was a lot of comments and a lot of talk about, you know, why MTSU it would, would want to relocate and they're moving to Shelbyville in, in 2026. And, you know, I think it's okay that we say that when visions don't line up, you know, MTSU was really wanting to expand their aviation program. In 2017, I think they had 400 and some odd students. In 2019, they had over 1,100 students. 
they had anticipated a growth of 6% per year, but it actually ended up being like 120% per year. And really, we were just sort of raising our hands saying, we can't accommodate that, that much growth. And so I think, you know, it's not a negative towards the city of Murfreesboro, the relationship we have with, with Middle Tennessee State to say, hey, your vision is to grow that program and we just can't accommodate that. And, and so I think there's, there's gonna be a lot of significant change that you're gonna see over the airport in the next two or three years. I don't think it's gonna be bad change. You know, a lot of the taxpayers will say, well, you know, you're, you're losing one of your big tenants. And, you know, MTSU in rough numbers was roughly 75% of our operations. So they use about 75% of the traffic in, at the airport, but they were only about 25% of the revenue. So it's something that we're gonna be able as a general aviation airport that we see a lot of things on the future that we'll be able to help. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but even when MTSU is able to transition to Shelbyville, they may still have somewhat of a presence yes. in Murfreesboro. Like there's still going to be some flight training here. Yeah, absolutely. I think they, you know, there's been discussions about keeping their, their mechanics program or to have some flight training here. They wanna keep their plane here and, and look, MTSU is welcome in this community. MTSU is a is a valuable team member and a valuable uh, partner in our community. But I think as we grow and as they grow, it's okay to say, hey, what you want and what the city of Murfreesboro wants, that's not the same. And, you know, I, I, I say this all the time to my, my boys that, you know, we all have choices in life. And just because your choice is different than someone else's choice doesn't mean either one of you are wrong. And so I think in this case, they made the decision that they wanted to go spend $70 million in Shelbyville. And we would have loved for them to spend that money here in Murfreesboro, but we were a single runway airport surrounded predominantly by all neighborhoods. And we just could not accommodate getting larger and larger and larger. And I think that's right. something the city council you know, we, we really have to look at overall what's what's best for the entire community, and, and that was something that we, we wanted to make a good decision. And we'd be remiss if we didn't highlight the fact that it's really enhanced the community and the fact that it's become a gathering place, even more so than it was. Yeah, you know, the new, the new I hate to call it a terminal because we don't, you know, we're not ever going to have commercial flights operating out of Murfreesboro, so you're not ever going to see Southwest or it, who it, Mid Atlantic, or any, you're not going to see a lot of commercial. You won't see any commercial operations out of our airport. So we really don't have a terminal like you go to Nashville. We more have like a, an FBO, which is a flight-based operation that you know the taxpayer funded that um, in our community center where we meet once a month, the city council. But that room stays booked nonstop with other events. Yes, and so MTSU is getting ready to move this summer. They're moving. I think it's August. They're moving their classroom space and. We're going to be able to transition that into another uh, outlet for people to meet. So I think we've got that that place is being used non. As a matter of fact, today, Mike, I was I've been in my office here all day, and you know I, I I've like, hey, is Craig here? No, he's at the airport in a meeting. You know, is Erin here? No, she's at the airport in a meeting. So they use that room, um, those rooms constantly as well.